What's up everybody, my name is Jay Recap Shots, bringing you guys a brand new video and a brand new series to my channel. So basically what I did, I, I've seen a lot of um, MLB YouTubers that make videos um, in series basically based off of how MLB players would do in doing a career simulation or, you know, kind of starting them on the team they were drafted on or just things like that. So what I decided to do was take my own turn on it and act as if I got the call from the Red Sox to come play for them. So what I went ahead and did is I went through spring training to kind of see if if I was on the 40-man, how I would do facing, you know, uh, top prospects and MLB players and MLB systems. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. So looks like we went 19-13 and 13 in spring training. Did not win the Grapefruit League and ended up, looks like our team as of now is 16th overall, uh, kind of a team overall. So I think throughout this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of act as if um, I am the general manager or kind of like the COO as, or, you know, of the Red Sox and kind of see what I can do to rebuild and you know, potentially win some awards, um, you know, for myself as a player. Try and see if we can get a no hit or a perfect game, see if we can win a Cy Young and do these certain things. I'm not going to be playing as him, uh, as myself um, or even playing a lot of it. So a lot of it's going to be simulation kind of quick counts and going through, you know, my um, myself as, um, you know, if he, as if he was pitching and doing starts that way. So what I want to go ahead and do is um, look and try and see how I did. So uh, Tanner Houck had himself a damn spring training. Holy, a point three one. The guy had to have, like, given up one earned, right? My goodness. So kind of going along, doesn't look, you know, Garrett Wedlock starting in AAA. So it still has me in the MLB. What I'm going to go ahead and do is probably start myself in um, AA and kind of go through a few starts and see how I am um, in those few starts. So it looks like in the um, spring training, what I went ahead and did, looks like an 0-1 win loss, 26 innings pitched, 29 strikeouts, 7 walks given up, a 122 whip, and then a 3-4-2 ERA. So not really bad, not really good. I went ahead and, and made myself a 76 overall to not make myself the best, but kind of give some room for improvement to kind of get better throughout my career. So I'm going to make this kind of a series um, based off of going through like a certain amount of games, kind of seeing how long, um, kind of go, uh, the first couple episodes will probably be kind of more of a trial in terms of, you know, me going through and trying to see how long I should make the videos, you know, what I should do to kind of cut the videos and kind of improve upon them throughout I go as I go throughout the series. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you guys my statistics. Um, as you can see, the attributes aren't like the best, aren't the worst, which kind of creates that 76 overall. Um, you know, I'm a lefty. Um, I bat left. It says 5'10". I'm not 5'10". I'm 5'9". I'm 5'8", I should say. Um, so I need to go ahead and try and fix that a little bit. So I'll probably start, I'll probably fix that before. I'm also 24 um, as of, you know, technically starting the 2024 season. So I figured I'd kind of start myself that way. And as you can see from the pitch repertoire, I am rocking quite the interesting pitch mix. So to make it even um, harder, but also kind of just more interesting, I did not give myself a fastball. I mean, obviously you can see the running fastball, but it kind of moves a little bit more than a traditional fastball. So I wanted to head wanted to make it a little bit more interesting for my character. So obviously, as you can see, the most primary pitch is a knuckleball. Shout out Tim Wakefield, rest in peace. Um, I want to try and make it a little bit interesting, you know, that way and try and make myself a knuckleballer and see where it would go from there. Uh, you know, so running fastball, 12-6 curve, kind of more so the up and down, um, the slurve, which should break a little bit more, um, you know, horizontally, and then the sinker, which should kind of break away from where I'm trying to throw it, you know, on the left-handed side and kind of go go more left that way. So uh, I like these I like these pitches quite a bit. I use these pitches in a um, a road to the show and I liked them a lot, you know, using it myself. So I was like really curious to see how it would run and how it would play out as if I was playing them that way. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to the regular season and then kind of go from there and then um, try and see where we're out. Oh, I think it should start me in MLB probably because of my overall and I'm on the 40 man. So I need to, to demote myself to double A. And then let's see, we'll go to double A. Let's see. So it looks like I'm making the fifth start on the double A roster, which makes sense. Um, I definitely have no right to, to be starting over anybody else. So let's get into the game and let's see how we do. All right, so we're making my first MLB start or our first pro start. As you can see, the kind of like how, how fast I'm throwing my pitches. 60 to 64 knuckleball. And it looks like my fastest pitch is going to be the running fastball, which makes sense. Obviously, the sinker topping at kind of 89, 91. 89 to 91 probably is going to be my absolute max on that if I'm throwing the hardest I can. So we're making our first pro start here for the Portland Sea Dogs. Here we got a 2-1 count. Let's try and see here. This guy looks to be a quite the hitter here, starting off the season 429. We're 2-2 two and two right now in the season, so this could be a deciding factor to put ourselves over 500. So it's going to be a huge start by me to try and see how we go. So the first pitch is going to be a knuckleball, okay? Against Robert Moore. Check out Morris. Robert Moore, okay, interesting. 
So you're four pitches deep here, 2-2 two -two count. Let's see if we can get our first strike out here in pro ball. Makes him pop it up to shallow right. Oh, actually, kind of deep right. Damn. It's kind of crazy how deep that went. Okay, okay. So let's see. Get the first out. A little 1-1 one -one count here. Not having a great start to him see his season here. Seven pitches deep. See how we can work through this first inning. Nice knuckleball. It's got tons of movement too. Does not doesn't go too far up. Doesn't go too far down. It just it really just kind of waves left to right as it comes in. Foul ball to left there. Okay. Let's see if we can get a strike out here. I would love love a fastball. Love a running fastball. Kind of running away low and. Low into the left here. Let's see what do we got. Okay, so a 12-6 curve down in the dirt makes him ground out to the third base side. I have a little bit of a weird kind of roster, so it's going to show a lot of updates, but not enough people. So Nick Sogard currently playing for, uh, you know, the uh, the Red Sox right now. Got called up, got called back recently to the team. So Nico Cavadas is still. Uh, Playing first base as well. He's got traded to the uh, Angels for Luis Garcia, who's not been great at all. Throws that to first and gets out of it. So our first pro inning. Out clean. No hits. Nothing really, nothing but really weak contact here. Also still shows uh, Kyle Teal here. So let's kind of see how we, how we match up here in a second. All right. We have our second inning of work here. Let's see what we got. A.J. Miller here. Based off a... Uh, Kind of nice double A uh, Phillies team here, fighting Phils. 94 off the bat. Pretty deep left field there. Not loving it, but we do get the out. Okay. Shout out Phillip Sykes. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Nico Huaca Grego. Not even gonna try and say that name, but nice little start here for uh, Grego. 18 pitches deep here in the second. Hitting a third of work. No strikeouts yet. Can't imagine many strikeouts are going to be uh, be taking place for the knuckleballer here. Hold him with that one over in the basically the right hand batter's box. See, we got a slurve action, slurve action down and away here on the one-two count. Ball. What? Try to go right down the middle. That was like way in too. Okay, popped it up to the catcher. Kyle Teal is going to get that one. Two away here in the second for, for Morris here. The right He's rocking it. Solid contact, but right to the shortstop. For the out. That'll be two innings of work. Only one hit allowed. Not too bad. Should have a strikeout, but is what it is. Go uh, on to the bottom of the third. And we're on here to the bottom of the third. It was a 1-2-3 inning uh, for the Phillies pitcher. Uh, we're the fighting Phil's pitcher, so we're, we're just going to kind of rock it here and kind of see where we go. Right here, so uh, Jay Godoy. Let's say you say it. The 30 pitches deep here, so we're, we're, we're kind of kind of getting there. A little, uh, a little early on that one. Oh, I don't bleed. All right. Sweet. To the shortstop Trevor Story. Trevor Story is actually going to be starting uh, his rehab assignment tomorrow. It's actually to Saturday today, right? Yeah, Saturday, uh, 8:31. So 9:1, he'll be starting his rehab assignment with uh, AAA Woo Sox, uh, playing in DH. Which is pretty mm -hmm. crazy, given the fact of how he started his um, his season. All right, got him to one-two count. Got a lot of one-two counts. It seems like, um, you know, since he's been he's been pitching here, but. Kind of coasting, kind of coasting. Ball outside. Pitch that one outside, a 2-2 two -two count. Well, quick to work, not too much hesitation here between uh, between pitches. All right, just going at it. Knuckleball just sails in there for his first pro strikeout. Obviously had some in spring training, but those only count for oh, nothing. Man. They count for a whole lot of nothing. First MLB strikeout there, for the number nine hitter in the fighting fills. Pops it up to Kyle Teal here, shallow infield. That's going to be out. That's three innings of pretty solid work there. One hit. Let's go on to the fourth. Oh, the Paw Sox went. One, two, three again. 
So we're on to the bottom of the fourth here. We're kind of developing a little bit of a pitcher's duel here, uh, here in my debut here as a uh, Boston Red Sox, you know, Portland Paw Sox, whatever. However you work it out. Or Sea Dogs. I keep saying Paw Sox. The Paw Sox was the AAA team before it was the Woo Sox. So here for the Sea Dogs, I should say. 97 off the bat. But right to Nick Sogard. It's going to be an out. On here to the bottom, the fourth here. De La Cruz, two for 17. Not a great start to the season to be a three-hole hitter, but you know what? Season just starting. The Fighting Fields are a hot 0 for 4 to start off this season here. The Sea Dogs, 2-2. Two two. Looking to, like I said, get over, four, get over 500, I should say. A little 2-1 two two and one. One count here for De La Cruz. So yeah, at 46 pitches, let's see where he can uh, see where he can move. Okay, well, 12-6 curve out, a lot outside. Does get him to bite two and two count. Let's see where Morris goes here for the two-two count. All right, it's gonna be a knuckleball in the lower half of the strike zone, but does sneak through the infield to get a base hit here. One on, one out for the fight and fills, but you know what? It's all good. We're going to be rocking it. Just a little quick double play action. 1-1 one, one count again. Yikes. 106 just early. Actually, really early. I shouldn't even say just early. Uh, really, really early there. 1-2 count here for Miller. The bottom of the fourth. Gives a double play ball. Just how he drew it up. Double play to get himself out of the fourth. Let's lead into the fifth. Strong outing so far for both the pitchers on this double play matchup. All right, so we're on now to the bottom of the fifth, and it's continuing. It's just nothing but a straight-up pitcher's duel at this current moment. It's a 1-1 count here for Grego. We're going to start this one off soon. Story does get to it. Can you have enough time in the first? Gets there with enough time. Here, one out in the bottom of the fifth. All right. Just cruising along. Wilson. Having a great start here, it looks like, to my uh, my pro debut here in Double A to start the 2024 season. Let's see. Right, Just gets the strike call on the bottom right of the zone. One-two One, two count here. Got a lot of pitches to mix with here. Still gliding that knuckleball and still relying on it heavy. When it moves as much as his does, I understand why he's doing it. Popped up. Two shadow there. Phillips Sykes is there for the out. I don't know the fifth now. Dude, we are rocking right now in this start. It's, not, it's, it's going anywhere but anywhere but bad. And I should, you know, knock on wood. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Matt Kroon here is with a slow start to the season. 0 for 13. Yet to have a hit. Here again. 1-1 one, one count again. These quick counts are giving me nothing but 1-1. One one. That's up. That's Ooh, okay. A little running fastball. a ball in there for the 2-2 count. 64 pitches D. We could, we're definitely going six, I feel like, so this is this should go pretty well. Kind of see how we how we fare here. Still hitless in 2024 is Matt Kroon. And we're going to go to the bottom of the sixth. So we were able to score in the sixth. Roman Anthony uh, hit a sack fly to score Nick Sogard after his Nick Sogard's leadoff double in the sixth. So they pulled out, they took out the starter for the fight and fills. Now there's a reliever, Tyler Gilbert, in for him after a single out of the fifth. So, or I should say six. So five and a five and a third there for the starting uh, pitcher for the fight and fills. Does end up with one earn on the line. Another quick little strikeout to Godoy in the bottom of the six. That's two strikeouts now for me in my first start. So two and one count now. Okay, let's get a, get a little switch up here. Usually it's a one and one count as it's been this video, but. We're going to be rocking with it here. So two and one count, 72 pitches deep. Probably not going to go into the seventh if I had to guess just because we're kind of getting up there in pitch count for my first debut. It's also the beginning of the season. Do not want to wear me out just yet. A shallow hit to left field. Sykes is going to be there for the out. Are we going to go six innings clean? A little six innings clean for uh, for a debut here. Robert Moore. Robert Moore, six for 16. 
leading off for the Fighting Pills this season, it looks like. 0 for 2 today against me. Okay, just chucks, he chucks a running fastball down, down at the knees. That didn't even look like it was caught at all. That knuckleball is absolutely insane. So 2-2 two -two count here. Let's see what we can do to get out Robert Moore. Really early there, but 104 on the contact is insane off of that knuckleball. Oof. Sounds like he's making really, really good contact here against my knuckleball, which kind of does worry me. This is against double A players. Fighting off here. I think this is what, hits number like seven in the at bat or something. He's really, really fighting. Wow, eight pitches now in the at bat. Let's see what he can do. Yikes. 108. Barreled that bitch up right to Roman Anthony, but does get it in. Real quickly, so he's not going to go anywhere but first. I'd love to see if Robert Moore tries to steal. I'm not sure how much speed he does have. Let's see where this ball ended up getting right off the bat there. Yeah, right down the middle. Just not things you can be throwing against any type of professional hitters, especially not if you're going to be planning to make the MLB anytime soon. Little 1-1 one, one count here for Kemp. Like I said, I'd love to see if... Oh. It looks like I'm worried about it. It looks like I'm worried about him stealing, so it looks like he must have some type of crazy speed if the AI is trying to throw him out for me. Let's see here. Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. One, two count, trying to see if we can get out of the sixth here. Right, strikes right through, I mean, swings right through. We are through six, absolutely clean. I think only, what, three base runners given up? Let's see. Is it going to pop up for me? It just shows me absolutely obliterating this guy with a knuckleball. Swinging it absolutely right through it. Unreal. Three base hitters through six for the debut of me. Okay, it looks like I'm still out there for the seventh. Looks like Coach has me, uh, has me down there for a seventh inning run. Let's see, 89 pitches deep for a 1-1 count here at the bottom of the seventh. Starts off with a shallow hit to right off a knuckleball, so we're starting pretty well here. Are we going to fuck around and go seven? Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. AJ Miller over two on the day, 92 pitches deep here, one one. Count again. Uh, for me, let's see where we're going to go here. I definitely got that call back from earlier uh, in the first inning there where or second inning, whenever that knuckleball went right down the middle and we got us a ball call on that one. Wow, it just absolutely swings right through his shoes. That was great location, I can't even lie. Running fastball around the same area just outside and the knuckleball pretty much right in the same wheelhouse as the last. Just makes him totally, totally swing right through that knuckleball there, right in on the hands. Who would have thought? A one and one count, 96 pitches deep for me. Here in this, my first pro debut. Onto a 1 2 count here. See where we can go from here. See if we can get this last strikeout to finish seven shutout innings in my pro debut. He's going to fight it off there. Knuckleball down the middle again. Kind of worrisome, not going to lie. Makes him a swing right at the 12 6 curve. That's now seven shutout innings for me in my pro debut. What a day, what a time. I look absolutely drained. I got 100 pitches deep, so I absolutely understand. That's seven innings, let's go. Now for oh, they took me out. I was gonna try and see if I got to stick around and hit the eighth, they even at 100 pitches for my debut, but you know what? Seven is not bad, so let's fast forward. Let's get us to the box score and try and see how good we did. The Sea Dogs improved to a three in two win. First major league, first pro win for myself with seven shutout innings. My goodness, man. Absolutely unreal game for myself. So let's try and see. Let's go down to the box score. Go all the way down. Let's see my line. So it looks like I went seven, three hits given up, and then five strikeouts. 
So that's a pretty, pretty crazy start. Let's fast forward to the next star and then see how good we do. So we're making my first home start for the Sea Dogs. Great line there in our first game. 1 0, 7 innings, 5 Ks, 0.43 whip, 21.7 K rate. Okay, not bad, not bad. Didn't walk anybody too. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see here. All right, let's go. What do we got? Knuckleball to get ahead of the count. Not a bad start Unbelief. at all. Two strikes. Trying to settle in here for the season. Let's see what we can do here in the second start. A little one-two count here. First batter. Gonna fight it off there just a tad late. Knocking it over to the left-hand side of the field. Strikes him out. It's a great way to start the day. First strike out there for the day for myself. Here, let's see. What do we got, man? A little 1-1 one, one count to start it up again. 12-6 curve did not break very much because it landed right in the middle of the freaking box, but... All good. Eight pitches deep here. One, two count once again. It's going to bloop. It's going to bloop. It's probably going to go two here, right? Oh, actually, does not decide to go two. Okay. So one on one out here for the Fisher Cats. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what we got. One, one count again. Gabriel Martinez up for the Fisher Cats. Quick pitch is it. It's going to sneak through. It's going to sneak through. Trying for three? Trying for three, and he's gonna get in there. Okay, runners on the corners, not great. Not great look. All right, come on, guy. Let's settle in here. One, two count here, runners on the corners, one out in the top of the first. Let's see if we can get out of this. A hell of a way to do it there. Absolutely nasty knuckleball in at the hands. Doesn't even get the ball, the bat off of his shoulders there. My goodness. One one count again. Knuckleball is gonna bleed in there. Oh no. Get there. Does get there. So we do get out of the first inning scoreless after a little bit of a shaky start there, back to back singles. That's all good. We're going to see what we can do in a second. Who would have thought? It's 1-1 one, one count. We're actually facing Ricky Tiedemann, which is, I believe, one of the, the better uh, pitching prospects in, like, in real life there for the, for the Blue Jays. So kind of curious as that ball does get grounded to third base. He's Plenty out. of time there to get the out. You're in the top of the second. Not too sure about a lot of other teams' prospects. I, I'm quite familiar with a lot of the Red Sox prospects who are who are kind of up there and you know kind of people to look out for, but not too familiar on them as that ball does get through up the middle. Roman Anthony with the stop. I'm pretty curious. Let's see. Okay. Also another one-one count. Not great. So Rozier is going to be there. Was there Rozier? I think so. Pretty sure. Is that Zach Britton? Like Zach Britton, the reliever? Why is Zach Britton hitting for the Blue Jays right now? Hold up, is this a thing? Is this some type of like, am I getting mind fucked right now? I mean, he's gonna get the strikeout, but that is definitely Zach Britton. What the hell? All right, I'll see you guys in the top of the third. Okay, so I looked it up. He hasn't played since 2022, so that was a total troll, but that is actually Zach Britton for some reason. You know, in the game doing that. I'm not sure why, but we're going to rock with it. Also, we did pick up an early lead here. Uh, in the bottom of the second, Jimmy Westbrook hit a home run off of Ricky Tiedemann there to left center. So took an early lead 
in this start, which is very, very good. Always love some run support. Always love some run support here in these starts. 36 pitches deep here, 2-2 two -two count. Two start on the top of the third. He's going to make up some more contact, so getting hit around a little bit more. Already gave up more hits in our entire first start, uh, going seven innings, so we're, we're getting it. We're getting somewhere interesting here. I thought that was going to happen. As that ball was smoked to left field. Yeah, my first home run, which unfortunately gives up the lead there that we just got from the New Hampshire Fisher cast there. Two run shot, 108 off the bat. It's kind of feeling that was gonna end up happening there with the leadoff hit, but take a look at that again and see where that ended up going. Just absolutely able to barrel it up. 393 feet there for Jay Weller. And man, that ball did not have any less than any good carry to that, so. Not a, not a lovely start, but you know what? Still rocking the, the ability to get a quality start here. 43 pitches deep, though. Have not gotten out here in the third so far. Another 1-1 one, one count, which is going to go a little bit deep. Looks like Roman Anthony is going to be there for the out. And thank goodness we need to get an out and kind of kind of get through there. So let's see. 2-1 count now for Paul Migliani. Man, 47 pitches deep, 2-1 count. Try and see what we can do to get out of this inning. Probably not going to be going seven deep this time around in this start. That's a good way to get the count even at two and two. Damiano Palmagani, what an absolutely beast name, dude. You just know he's an absolute tank. The ball's going to hit right back to me. For the out. Oh. So I think the way that I'm going to go ahead and do this is I think I'm going to basically act as if I'm the general manager. So when I do that, what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to, oh, okay, thank goodness, 100 off the bat there. I'm going to basically, Jeffrey Weller, this is the guy, bro. He's an absolute beast-looking guy. Um, but what I think we're going to go ahead and do is play a few double-A games, kind of see where we are at the end of the month that we're currently playing in, and then potentially see if uh, I deserve to go to triple-A before I make my start here. I'm looking to try and see if I can get myself uh, get myself started here sometime before probably June so that we can possibly make some strides there towards the end of the season help the Red Sox win a chip. So we'll, we'll see how we do, but I'm going to fast forward now to the third inning, and or the fourth inning, I should say, now that we're in the bottom of the third. Uh, we'll try and see what we can do here in the... Absolute gas. Two balls, two Absolute difference in lefties as well. Tiedemann throwing about 96, 97, and I'm probably throwing 90 as my, my top speed there. But let's fast forward to the top of the fourth and try and see if we can get a little bit of a comeback toward, uh, toward winning this game. All right, so we did not do a single thing in the bottom of the third, but it's okay. Unfortunately, we're 54 pitches in, and we're not looking that sharp against the Fisher Cats. Oh, that one's going to bleed too, isn't it? Okay, let me foul. Now we're here at one-two count. A uh, strikeout would be nice. Ground out fly, I don't care. Just get him out. Get him out, and then I will be feeling a lot better about myself. Ball two. Not great. All right. All right, a little ground out of the third there. Nick Sogard to Cavadas for the out. Oh. Not too bad, not too bad. Running fastball kind of in there. All right, Cade Doty. Two and two count. The bat, number eight. Wait for Sykes to get that down. We're making a quick inning, which is good. Uh, we're two down right now. Looks like lining up at six is going to be quite a bit realistic here. As we're moving on into the, uh, the second half of the game. 
97 off the bat, but Sogard is going to get there quick. Tavares with plenty of time. That ends four. We're, we're coasting through. Let's see if we can get some runs back. Unfortunately, we're not able to do too much. We had uh, runners on first and second with one out and proceeded to strike out. Jamie Westbrook and Kyle Teal decided to strike out on me. So we're in our kind of on our own here on an island as we are going to get that hit. Let's see. That's going to be a hit for Zach Britton, the 36-year-old retired baseball player hitting for some reason when he pitched his whole career. But we're going to rock with it. 1-1 one, one count here for uh, Brown here in the top of the fifth. One on, no out. That ball is going to be way too far above the strike zone to get any type of good call. So we have a 2-1 count. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, a little slur of the Two lower balls. half. Sea Dogs are warming some people up here. Noah Song and Alex Spies. Spies? 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 So are we going to get taken out here before we even finish five? Or not just a precaution? Maybe just a precaution. So we're probably not going to go six here. With 73 pitches, a two and two count with no outs. Unless we make quick work. I don't think we're going six today, boys. That one is a pop-up to shallow right. Sykes on the patrolling and is going to get the catch. Jeremy Weller up again. This is the guy that absolutely torched us for a home run, so... Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Let's try and keep it on the ground. Sykes patrolling that right field all day today has been pretty pretty solid in helping us here. Give up a lot of contact, a lot of soft contact too, really annoying. Um, you know, types of contact that's been given up today by myself um, you know, on the mound, but we're gonna rock with it. It's all good, it's all good. One, one count, let's get out of the first here. Yeah, on the tag he, he picks him off! Well, that's a way to get out of the fifth. All right, we might have a chance at going six here. Sogard, Rozier, and Sykes up in the bottom of the fifth, bottom of the lineup here, or top of the sixth, I should say. No, bottom of the fifth. Yeah, I'm right. Bottom, bottom of the fifth. Let's see how we can do. Wow, I got taken out. Bro, I know I wasn't pitching that well, but seriously, I don't think I deserved to at least go six. Noah Song in, four in the third innings pitch, 6.23 ERA. Uh, simulate and see how we did at the end of the game. All right, well, it looks like we lost three to one. Not great. Let's look at the total box score uh, lineup. Let's see here. Five innings pitched, six hits, two earned, and three Ks. So not too bad. Uh, let's kind of, let's, let's go back to the, the main menu and kind of see how we're stacking up here in our first two starts. All right, so we're through our first two starts here in our pro career with the Portland Sea Dogs. So let's see, we're one and one, not too bad. 12 innings pitched, nine hits given up, two earned runs off one home run. So kind of one mistake there on that uh, that that ball to Jeremy uh, Weller ended up being quite the quite the not too great thing. A .75 whip's not too bad. We have .3 war, uh, you know, wins, wins above replacement. So that's not too, too bad there for our first two starts. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is end the video here. And then if you guys do enjoy this, please let me know. Uh, I look forward to trying to make more videos like this and kind of seeing what I should do. See if I should sim some games, kind of play some games, kind of play some key matchups and try and see how we do before the end of the end of the month. Um, and then kind of see how we should do at that point. So if you guys did enjoy this, please give it a like, comment, let me know what other things you'd like to kind of see in terms of MLB. I love MLB The Show and what I get to do in it. I really do a lots of Road to the Show and a lot of franchise mode. So I'd, I'd love to to do more videos like this. So if you guys do enjoy it, Show me some love. Let me know what else you would like to see. And as always, have a good day.